I will show you the simplest way to create a protein model in Blender. You can do this in less than a minute and I personally use this all the time. It's super useful, especially when you want to quickly populate your scientific illustrations with tons of objects. Grab any basic shape and add a subdivision modifier to have something to work with. Now let's add a displace modifier, click new and we're gonna name this protein. Go to the textures tab and select type clouds. Now adjust the scale accordingly. Go back to the modifiers tab and adjust the strength slider. This method allows you to quickly generate these protein looking blobs. If you set the texture coordinates to global, the deformation will change based on how you move it in space. Duplicate it and move it around and you can quickly create many variations. And we could stop here if your proteins are just small background objects, but if it's the main focus of your scene we can push this a little further. Let's increase the subdivisions and increase the depth of the clouds texture. Look at this, woo! Now add another displace modifier. Hit new, give it a name so you don't confuse it, and make sure you have the right displace and texture selected. And this one will be a Voronoi texture. Set distance squared and adjust the scale. I'll go back to modifiers and take the strength to negative 0.1. I like to do this so it looks like it's made out of small atoms. And you can quickly apply this to many different shapes. For the material you can really try many different things. Look, in this scene I have built everything using only these two methods. This was my first tutorial. Leave a comment so I can get better at it. Thanks for tuning in.